Welcome to my channel guys. I'm Orlando and today we're going to be talking about credit cards, right? Ugh. Who likes credit cards? Credit cards are the devil. So we're going to be going over some quick things that, you know, in my opinion, where credit cards kind of sit in the whole financial world. And to me, credit cards are just like anything else. It actually has a place in the financial world, right? It's just not these instruments that have extremely high interest and that people always say that's their biggest part of their debt. And I'm here to kind of guide you through what I think the best scenario is for having credit cards. So let's just kind of go over some of these, you know, scenarios where I think credit cards are good, right? So credit cards to me are exactly what they're supposed to be used for, right? Credit cards give you that fast influx of credit and cash that you can basically have liquid on, you know, on any given time frame so long that you have the credit available. And so when an emergency comes up or if, you know, you need some some cash and our credit available right now, you can easily go to the ATM or you can use the credit card to be able to purchase and do what you need to do in that moment. But the caveat to that is you should only use those credit cards if you have the money to pay it back. What I mean by that is if you don't have the money to pay it back immediately or within the next couple of weeks, mainly before the next, the end of the billing cycle, then you shouldn't get it. You shouldn't use the credit card to purchase that. I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and use the credit card for right now. And then, you know, in a month or two later, I'll go ahead and pay it off. But my question is, is why would you want to pay the high, the high interest rates of credit cards? I mean, at the minimum, you're going to pay on a normal credit card. We're not talking about introductory credit cards where they give you this two, three, four, five percent for a year and then it jumps up to 26. I would say the bear, the bottom of the barrel, you're probably looking at 17, 16 percent interest. And most people don't really even look at that and go, wow, I'm paying that much because of the amount that's added on at the end of the billing cycle and you still owe the the balance, right? And it just continues to add on. And when someone says, when you get the billing cycle, the billing statement, and it says you only have to pay $35 minimum, and it's continued to add on and add on interest, most people ignore that. And they just see, I just got to pay a minimum of $35. And they don't really realize the amount of money that's really adding up on the principal. And it's just, if you can avoid paying 26, 13 to 26% interest on your everyday purchases, then you should avoid it. So where is it that it's appropriate to use a credit card? Well, I'm glad you asked. It is appropriate to use a credit card if you're going to one, like I just previously stated, if you're going to purchase something and pay it back before the billing cycle and not get the interest, then you're winning. Where you double win at is if you like myself, do churning, which churning means basically getting the most out of a credit card when it comes to points. I use all of my credit cards, all of them, for one use only, and that's to create and get points. Now, I do not suggest this for everyone because it, it can be a trap if you do not have discipline to purchase things and then pay them off immediately or by the end of the bi billing cycle, right? If you do not have the discipline to do this, you will be get trapped into forgetting about those things and then carry over the interest. And let me tell you this, you getting points and paying interest on your credit cards, it deletes the points. It does not make any sense. Let me say this again. Do not do points if you are going to let your balance carry over. It makes zero sense. You lose all of the benefits of a credit card if you do this. And I've seen on forums and in some instances where someone goes into trying to get points on a credit card by going, you know, restaurant, you get extra bonus points for going on restaurants or you get the introductory of 50, 60, 
thousand points and they're trying to use those points to go on vacation or uh, go on a nice vacation or buy airline tickets. And then you get your whole goal is that and you end up buying a lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't buy because you see that you have X amount of credit and you go, you know what? I can go ahead and buy what I want and get points on that. And where you get trapped at is next thing you know, you never had the money to purchase the item to begin with. And next thing you know, your balance carries over. And when your balance carries over, yes, you got the points, but what good are they when you're paying 26% interest or a high interest on the balance? That makes no sense. So, once again, in my opinion, when it comes to using credit cards, you, you, you should only use them when it benefits you. You should not use credit cards for an emergency fund, especially your credit card is your emergency fund, your, is your plan A. You should never do that. Should you have a, a credit card if you want to have it just for an emergency if something happens, but if that emergency happens, you can still pay it off? Yes, that is a good idea. So you kind of get where I'm going here. Only use a credit card if you have the money originally. <gasps> right? I know. People are saying, why would I want a credit card if I already have the money? I'll just use cash. And that's kind of the catch-22, guys, is that in this financial game, in this financial world, you, you, you see a lot of things and most of the things are you see are individuals who benefit necessarily don't need the great deals. You see individuals who have money who can get loans easy, but really don't even need the loan. They just took the loan because it was a leverage point and there was a benefit to taking it. And the same thing goes with credit cards. If you have the money, you can use the credit card, but that's not what the credit card company is is hoping. They're hoping that people who don't have the money are using their credit cards like debit cards. That's what I see. People are using credit cards like debit cards and then are paying them off on a monthly basis and next thing you know it turns into a snowball effect and you're trapped behind this big huge high interest debt it and, and it will seem like a a big boulder in front of you so let's not do that okay guys so if you found this video interesting and you got value out of it please hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification button so that when I upload videos like this, you will be notified. I really appreciate all the support, everyone, and until the next video, thanks.